Militer Rusia memperbarui informasi operasi militer khusus di Ukraina dalam 24 jam terakhir. Curu bicara militer Rusia Letnan Jenderal Igor Konasenkov 1 September merilis operasional taktis dan penerbangan tentara, pasukan rudal dan serangan artileri Rusia terus berlanjut terhadap fasilitas militer di Ukraina. Empat pos komando Brigade Mekanik ke-14 Angkatan Bersenjata Ukraina dekat Kutuzovka di wilayah Kharkov, Pos Komando Batalion Brigade Mekanik ke-93 dekat Dmitrovka di wilayah Kharkov, serta 59 unit artileri dan 144 area konsentrasi tenaga dan peralatan militer diserang. Resimen ke-11 tentara Donetsk didukung Su-25 Angkatan Udara Rusia menggempur area benteng Angkatan Bersenjata Ukraina di daerah Performaiski. Personil unit Brigade Mekanik ke-72 Angkatan Bersenjata Ukraina dekat Artemovs di Republik Rakyat Donetsk menolak melaksanakan perintah dari komando, meninggalkan posisi mereka dan pergi ke belakang karena kerugian besar, persenjataan rendah dan kurangnya dukungan tembakan, kata Igor Konasenkov. Secara total, 280 pesawat Ukraina dan 151 helikopter, 1.852 kendaraan udara tak berawak, 371 sistem rudal anti pesawat, 4.663 tank dan kendaraan tempur lapis baja lainnya, 822 sistem peluncuran roket ganda, 3.363 artileri dan mortir lapangan, serta 5.192 unit khusus kendaraan militer dihancurkan selama operasi, kata Igor Konasenkov. Dari kubu Kyiv, Kemenhan Ukraina merilis 450 prajurit Rusia dieliminir dalam 24 jam terakhir. Total 48.350 prajurit Federasi Rusia dan sekutu tewas sejak awal konflik hingga hari 190, tanggal 1 September. Kemenhan Ukraina merilis video bantuan alat tempur dari negara barat termasuk Polandia. Presiden Ukraina Volodymyr Zelensky menjanjikan perlawanan sengit mengusir penjajah Rusia. On the morning of September 1, the Kyiv regime attempted a major provocation to disrupt the arrival of the International Atomic Energy Agency Expert Working Group at the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. At 6.20 a.m. Moscow time, seven fast-moving motorboats landed on the coast of Kakhovsky Reservoir, three kilometers northeast of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, with two sabotage groups of up to 60 people in total. The sabotage groups were detected and blocked in a drop-off area by Russian national Guard units guarding the territory of the Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. A unit of the Russian armed forces and helicopters of the army aviation were transferred to reinforce Russian guard troops in order to suppress an attempt to enter the nuclear power plant and destroy Ukrainian saboteurs. The destruction of the Ukrainian sabotage group is currently being completed. At about 7 a.m., units of the Russian armed forces prevented another attempted landing to seize a nuclear power plant. A few kilometers from Zaporozhye nuclear power plant near Vodinoye, an attempt was made to land a tactical airborne assault by Ukrainian two self-propelled barges from Nikopol. Two self-propelled barges carrying tactical airborne assault of Ukrainian armed forces are sunk as a result of the Russian armed forces shelling. As of 8 a.m., the Kyiv regime has blocked the passage of International Atomic Energy Agency expert mission from controlled territory to Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Ukrainian artillery is shelling the territory of Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, the meeting place of the International Atomic Energy Agency mission with the Russian specialists near Vasilivka, as well as the route of their movement to Energodar. Four shells exploded 400 meters from the first unit of Zaporozhye nuclear power plant. Despite attempts by the Kyiv regime to disrupt the visit of International Atomic Energy Agency expert group to Zaporozhye nuclear power plant, the Russian side confirms its readiness to receive them with full security of further operations. The situation around the nuclear power plant is difficult, but remains under full control. The Kyiv regime continued unsuccessful offensive attempts on Nikolaev Krivoy Rok direction. Russian Aerospace Forces Aviation, missile troops and artillery inflicted significant damage on advanced
advancing Ukrainian units and reserves. In the past 24 hours alone, the enemy has lost 31 tanks, 22 infantry fighting vehicles, 18 other armored combat vehicles, 8 pickups with heavy machine guns, 17 pieces of special vehicle equipment, and over 350 servicemen in the course of combat operations in this area. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. As a result of shelling of units of the 14th Mechanized Brigade near Ruski Tishki, an attempted offensive by Ukrainian armed forces in Kharkov direction has been thwarted. The enemy suffered over 50 casualties. 56 survivors of the brigade attempted to retreat in Kharkov direction. On reaching the northwestern outskirts of Saltovka, soldiers of the 14th Ukrainian Brigade came under fire from positions of Kraken nationalist formation, which eliminated most of them. Russian aerospace forces, high-precision weapon strikes on a temporary deployment point of units of the 93rd Mechanized Brigade near Chasov Yar in Donetsk People's Republic have destroyed over 100 nationalists and 15 pieces of military equipment. Personnel of units of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade near Artomovsk in Donetsk People's Republic refused to carry out orders from the command, left their positions and went to the rear due to heavy losses, low weaponry and lack of fire support. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery strikes continue against military facilities in Ukraine. Four command posts of the 14th Mechanized Brigade of Ukrainian Armed Forces near Kutuzovka in Kharkov region, Battalion Command Post of the 93rd Mechanized Brigade near Dmitrovka in Kharkov region, as well as 59 artillery units and 144 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration have been hit. Two Ukrainian command posts have been destroyed by unmanned aerial vehicles near Chasov Yar and Artomovsk of Donetsk People's Republic. One platoon of US M777 howitzers has been destroyed near Andreevka in Kherson region. Eight missile and artillery weapons and ammunition depots have also been destroyed near Dorozhnyanka, Malinovka in Zaporozhye region, Kavkaz, Bereznegavatoye, Zhovtnivoye, Velikoye Artakovo in Nikolaev region, Nova Ukrainka in Donetsk People's Republic and Kolomiitsi in Dnepropetrovsk region. Russian air defense means have shot down eight unmanned aerial vehicles near Yakovenkovo, Volchiyar, Shpakovka, Kislovka, Glinskoye, Kapitolovka in Kharkov region, Petrovka and Lubimovka in Kherson region. Also intercepted one Tochka U ballistic missile near Bezimyannoye in Kherson region and 48 shells of multiple launch rocket systems, including 44 of HIMARS near Muzukovka, Znamenka, Vesoloye, Kamenka, Daryovka, Nova Kakhovka, Beruslav, Nepruani, and Tomarino. Two US made AGM 88 Harm anti radar missiles have been shot down by Russian air defense means near Antonovsky Bridge. In total, 280 Ukrainian airplanes and 151 helicopters, 1,852 unmanned aerial vehicles, 371 anti aircraft missile systems, 4,663 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 822 multiple launch rocket systems. 3,363 field artillery and motors, as well as 5,192 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation.